Ugh. and that's a challenge. Your squat single leg moves will always suck. You're a nice person, but you have shit mobility. No offense. Welcome everyone back to workout 49, just in time, single side special part two, workout 50s right after this. Get ready for your <laughs> Spartan kicks, that's coming, there's your clue, we know what's up. Let's get to the board today, it's freezing in here, so I wanna get a sweat, get a pump, and get the heck out. On the board today, exact same protocol as last workout, we're just in the squat, pull, curl and more core single sided theme. So part one, three sets. We're gonna do a medley on one side, single arm, five curl, five bent over row, five clean, five low sprinter row. We did that in Mount Crushmore, workout number 10, five more curl. You do all that, then you switch side. Then we have a weird circular squat, kind of do a negative on one leg and then assist with two to come back up. We've done the circular push up warm up. These are circular squats. And then we have a heel elevated, we've done that. Just a little heel elevated, elevated step down or reach out, we'll blow up the quads. And those are 10 reps each. Three sets, done. Part two, four sets of 10, just like last workout. We have a cheater shrimp squat. So we've tried shrimp squat just touching knee. Now we can go a little heavier, touch knee and use the toe to push out. And again, just hang on, make it easier, make it lighter if you can't. Do the full weight. You are you, I'm me, just do you. Do what you got at home, make it work. After that, a floor row, so renegade row, just single side row for 10 reps, and do a side snatch for 10 reps before you switch side. Done. Part three, I promise you biceps. We're gonna do a bicep burnout, max reps bicep. When you can't do it, that's strike one. We drop the ground, weighted side rock 15, weighted side rock 15 back into your second try at the biceps, that's strike two, and then a third, strike three, and we're out of here. So meet me on the floor, mat, two dumbbells just to get the pump on, and then we're into this workout. Okay, down on ground, we'll get our legs ready, prepped for the squats, let's sit on our butts, hands back nice and lazy, and just start with some hip wipers per side. I'll try to breeze through this a little quicker than we do normally. Ah. We're at 49, how far have we come? <sighs> Wipes good. Let's stay to the one side just for the fold overs. Fold over, undulate that spine. We love these by now. About five or six. Flip to this side. Good. Okay, we're gonna go into double kneel, foot forward, out to the side. Remember that groin stretch or the ankle stretch. So you start Tight, close, you get your ankle mobility going. We're gonna need a lot of that today. Don't forget about that knee check test. You need to be able to keep heel flat and get your knee three, four, five inches past your toe. If you're tight, ugh, and that's a challenge, your squats, single leg moves will always suck. You're a nice person, but you have shit mobility, no offense. You gotta work on that. Runners, like I say, are always tight through the ankle and your squats are always high and through the hips, so no good. Okay, and then we can move this out, get a little deeper, start getting at the groin. I don't know if my shorts shrink when it's colder temperatures, but man, everything's feeling tight today. Falling in, you can go for max range, max groin, Ooh, make that feel good. Good, square up in front, open 90, suck the heel in close, and get that mobility going. You can see that knee plumb line, I'm way past, no problem for me getting deep. I'm a tall boy, remember, six foot four, it took me a long time to get my mobility to get super deep squats going, keep everything else open, get my hamstring range down, palming to floor, just takes time. When fitness is a lifetime priority, 
You have 10, 15, 20, 25 years to work on it. No problem. Oh, or fitness is a lifetime sentence. That's my politer way of saying it. It should be for everyone, and if it's not, shame on them. Okay, we're gonna go side lying and pump the glutes with some old school Jane Fondas here. So on the floor, I'm gonna drive. Can I show you this more side profile? Push flat shin and everything lifts, everything drops down. Everything drive, everything down. Drive, down. We don't do the clam shell. We're going up, down. When you're just feeling this bottom leg, do the pump, do the push. Three, two, one. Next side, about 10 to 12 reps. Everything up. Nine, touch. 10, touch. 11, touch. 12, touch. Good. Awesome. Mat away. If you have a yoga mat, you're fine on the floor. And we'll just do scat push ups and torsion taps. So tall plank, break shoulder blade up. Minimal elbow bend or no elbow bend. Hands a little narrower, feet go wider, tap shoulder, tap shoulder, don't let the torso move. Squeeze your core, squeeze your legs. Eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Good. Popping up, dumbbell time, and then we're out of here. So dumbbells, let's get our first bent over row and back fly. Those are easy to start with, 10 of each. For remember, shoulders don't come forward. Everything moves back. Rowing is called a row for a reason. Don't push those shoulders forward, no good. Two, one. Okay, you can make these flies as ugly as you want, depending on the weight you have. Three, right along the toe line. Then, okay. And then anything to rehearse before we go. We can just do some standard squats. So dumbbells up. Let's go for 10 squats. Five regular and then we'll pause out five. Down, take it as a stretch. We're not racing through anything right now. Pause. Drive up, down, pause, drive up, down, pause, drive, pause, drive. Good enough for me, the real warm up is coming up. So, get, we only need one dumbbell, you can have two. I'm gonna probably start with a 35 pounder because it's just five of each for that single arm drill. Then you can hold that same weight for the circular squat. You can hold double bell, two dumbbells, you can have a barbell, any implement works. Moves always the same. And then you need something to elevate your heels on, which is as easy as one little dumbbell to put the heel up on for those little quarter squat reach outs. So that can be a kettlebell, books, doesn't matter. Weight plate, okay, get that ready. See you back for three sets of 10 of that stuff. Okay, here we go, part one, pretty easy setup. Heavy weight, one way to elevate my heel. This could be dumbbell or kettlebell. Let's just go through it, I'll narrate as we go through the first round. Pretty straightforward moves, we've done them all before, so nothing new to teach. Pick up your dumbbell, five reps of everything. Dumbbells up, five curl, one. Remember, this is all single-sided, so brace. Two, three, four, five. No bracing with this hand, split stance. Five bent over row, one, two, three, four, five. Single sided clean, one up, down. Two, 
three, we're just blasting the one arm. Four, five. Got to go super low into sprinter row. Down below almost touches ground. One, touch. Two, front leg burns. Three, four, five. Ooh, and then we test it with a final five curl. Four, three, two, ooh, one. No break, switch to the other side. One, two, three. This could be a hammer curl. Four, doesn't matter. Five, standard bent over row. Two, three, four, five. Clean, one. So not curling, pull up the body. Two, three, four, five. Super deep sprinter position, like you're on the blocks ready to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Up, final five curl. Two, three, four, five. Shake the hands out. Okay, we're just gonna take the same implement. Weight doesn't matter because you can make the squat deeper. We don't even have to go that deep. Holding weight, I'm gonna shift to one side, get the squat, come back to center to help with the other leg to get back up. So we fall into 20 circles total. So here we go, go to one side, down, I'm almost on one leg weight, down, center, up. Two, three, his dumbbell's freezing. Four, loaded, light, assisting, single leg down, two legs up. So you get this little circular impression with the squat. Next side. Two, so you need your ankle mobility. Just focusing on the negative, the drop. Might just stay with the 35er. Woo! That was left leg work, so I'm gonna go back to right leg. Give you a little 45 degree pro profile here. So heavy heel, heavy toe. The further we reach, the deeper this leg has to go. 90 degrees, that's about max. Okay, so if I can get to there and back up, I'm fine. And you're just pumping these muscles that you should start to have by now. So you can reach with a toe, reach with a heel, but we're not coming off and pushing to get back up. The weight's on this leg the whole time. Go for it. Four. Five, so super light, 1% weight gets on that foot just to touch ground. And you should feel that one leg working. If you remember the quadrosaurus quad themed workout, this was one of the moves. Switch side for 10. It burns if you can link them all together. Nine. Ooh, ten. Good. Okay. Back to one. No water breaks yet. We'll break after the three sets. I'll keep the 35, and then maybe I'll slap a 40 pounder for the third set. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start left arm. Two. You guys are on your own now, just rip it. Get through it. Five. Bent over row, can't brace, don't put your hand down. Two. Three. Four. Five. 
Deep, 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 deep. Four dumbbell touches ground. One, two, three, four. Bring your front leg out. Five. Up. One. Oh. Two. Three. Four. Doesn't have to be a strict curl. You can swing it. Five. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. One. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Deep, 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 deep. One, two, three. All the way in your front leg. Four, five. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Oh, feeling those arms. Save the big ones for the last third part here. Bicep burnout coming up at the end. Circular squat. Yeah, I'm gonna go to my left side first. Oh, feels way better now. I'm still light. I'm still just on one leg here. Next side. Quads are getting pumped. Step downs. Left side first. Next side. I'm going to start steaming in a sec. Doesn't look like much on camera, but this freaking burns. Remember, no weight. We're not resting on the front leg. Show your total side profile here. All the weight on this working leg. Three, two, one. Woo! Catching my breath before I start again. Oh, I said 40, didn't I? Crap. Might have to swing this a little more violently. Here we go. Two, three. Four, five, one, two, three. Oh, don't rip your nipple off. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So see what I've done? I've actually disguised almost 20 bicep curl movements with the row. Four, five. So if you wonder why your arm's getting so weak, that's why. Stay square. Oh yeah. Warming up now. Two other hand, make a fist. Five, two, three, four, five. 
brace. Sprinter deep. Ooh, these are gonna be hard. Oh yeah, we're going, we're going. I've burned through the paint on my uprights by putting my hands here so many times and resting. Uh, circular squat. Starting the right leg. Ooh. Ooh, this is the warm up. What the heck? Ooh. 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 Pump that single leg. Ah, foot position shouldn't have to move. One more. Catch your breath. Again, you, you get out of breath because you're bracing. So hard to not get twisted. Right leg gets a pump first. Getting harder. If it's tough, don't reach out so far. We just need quarter squats. Ah. Second side. This would be a good move to transition into pistol squatting. Build up your upper end strength range. Nine. Warm up over. Water break breather. We're coming back for four sets of 10. We're gonna do that cheater shrimp squat. Going down, touching the knee first, and then you can push with your back leg to get up. Can't do it. Just hold on to something. Make it a single leg reverse lunge, easy. And then our renegade single arm row into side snatch off the floor. So tiny bit of weight for the cheater shrimp if you can do it. Single dumbbell or two dumbbells, 10 to 40 pounds, whatever you want. See you back in a sec. Okay, we're into the main event. Four sets, 10 reps with everything. I'm gonna start body weight. Next round, I'll go to 10 pound plate for the shrimp. Then I'll go 20, then I'll try 30 just to make sure I can do them. So I have the ab mat I'm gonna drop down to. You can fold up a towel for your knee to hit something soft. Here we go, we've done these before, but we get to cheat off the bottom so we can work twice as hard on the way down. Here we go, I'm gonna drop down, knee touch, foot touch, cheat with the back leg to get back up to top. Drop in single. And this is nice. These felt tight during rehearsal. They feel real good now, so we're warm. You're just hanging on to something to make it easier if you need to. You can make this pile way higher. You can land a lot higher and cheat up. Link them all together. Find some flow. Don't free fall. No crash landing at the bottom. It helps to reach your hands forward for counterbalance. 
Next side. Touch, cheat, up. Touch, cheat, up. You can see how tight this knee is to my other foot. You don't have to be doing this huge reverse lunge. You're falling right in behind your own heel. That's where ankle mobility comes into play. And up. The negative single leg is a theme today. Ten. Good. Yeah, that burns. 20 pounders here. So I can use the dumbbells as handles. If you just have one weight, prop your hand on the ground and do what you can single sided. Hopefully you don't slip too much. Okay, 10 row. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. No break. Side snatch up, down. Four, five, six. If you have to take a break, you can switch sides on fives and do too many sets. Ooh. Make sure you're right on top of the other dumbbell. Slipping around a little bit. Nine, you can fully open, look at the ceiling. Ah. Whoa, that snuck up. Slippery palms, I'm gonna towel off. Water break breather, we're doing that three more times. Okay, here we are for part two. I'm holding a 10 pound steering wheel. So even though this is more accumulative weight on the leg, being able to reach out in front will counterbalance the weight behind and these somehow feel easier. So just a little bit of weight up, counterbalance in front. Let's go again for our 10. <sighs> Helps the drop be a little smoother. <sighs> Try to get knee first, toe to help getting up. Good. If it's too crazy, do less reps. It's still too crazy, hang on to something. Make yourself lighter, not heavier. There's no Matt McConaughey. Leaning on a wall today. No kickstand RDLs. Oh gosh. Okay. Whew, I got the sniffles because it's like lifting weights in the Arctic in here. Oh. Okay, can I do this? Dry my palms. Link it all together. 10 row, 10 snatch, floor snatch. Stay right on top of the dumbbells. 
put your hand on the flat ground if you don't like the feeling. Six, turn the body. Seven, it's core strength. Brace. Nine. Ten. Oh. I feel like Kara was wearing moisturizer and lubed up my dumbbell handles. Eight, nine, ten. Get ready to rotate from the trunk and the feet drop. You can just do this body weight if you need to. Oh, doesn't have to be with dumbbells. Again, I'm the drill sergeant, but you're the boss. So call your own shots. Water break breather. See you back for set three. Set three, same thing, get it done. 10 reps. Control the descent. One speed the whole way down. No crash landing, no smashing knee into the ground. No wobbling. Knee tracks perfectly. Remember I built you, you're a machine. You have one purpose, sole purpose is to do this single leg negative drop shrimp squat right now. You don't deviate, you don't get crazy ideas. You just go for it. If you're to put your foot down first, you're just doing reverse lunges. Tens creeps up on you. Okay, the lubed, lubed up handles here. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Pressure out of the palm for a sec. Oh man, slipping. Where's my chalk? You're way over there. Ten. Strong stacked arm. Oh, they're getting weak. They're getting weak. Oh. 
Ooh. Ooh. One more to go. Water break breather. Remember, just t pause, the, pause the tape. Take longer if you need to, and then jump back in. Okay, set four, still out of breath, keeping this going. I know I could definitely go heavier on this weight, but in the horizon, I know there's a special workout 50 coming, and I know it's gonna be brutal on the legs, so maybe just save yourself, just get it through, graduate the reps, keep them clean, score an A plus for effort, and we'll get after them. Final set, go. Put that back a little too far. Drop straight down elevator shaft. And apologies tomorrow and the next day when you can't sit down in the toilet properly. Whew. Take your days off before you try the 50th workout. Whew. You're gonna have to be Spartan fresh for that. Oh, done with those. Catching your breath. Last time on these plank row side snatches. Why are you so slippery? Okay, here we go. Posture up. You could put a towel on top of a dumbbell if you had to. I guess I could just show you the easier version. Palming the ground. Nine. Come on. Ten. Second side. Clean and then we're done. And then it's on the biceps. Brace. Two rows, the easy part. Three. Eight. Nine. Ten. Right up the body. Right down. Clean this up. I'm gonna use 30 pound dumbbells to curl and then a 30 pound single dumbbell for my weighted side rocks. So try to keep the theme. Whatever you're gonna burn out with the curls, one of those will be your side rock weight. Okay, catch your breath totally, and then we're back. Three strike, three strikeout game with biceps. This new one. 
Okay, here we go, part three, the bicep encore. This is what you came for, this is what you're waiting for. So don't quit on me early. Curls, you can do more reps, you can do slow reps, you can do cheats to slow negatives. Whatever you gotta do, crush the reps until you can't get another rep. And then we're onto the ground for that side hollow rock with the weight. Here we go, three rounds. I'm just gonna start strict, burn them out. Moderate pace. Find a little supinated twist curl at the top. You can count reps, but reps don't really matter. So try to get in the habit of not counting. And you're just going to ultimate failure. I can, as long as I don't put them down, I can stay for a sec, let them flush for a quick second here, and keep going. I'm gonna cheat some. enough for me okay remember side rock is 45 degrees on our side we're locking dumbbell out over top of us get the mic out of the way dumbbells locked brace if you have to just use your elbow on the ground five and practice keeping that dumbbell stacked so you don't lose the balance Kettlebell works okay as well. Stay strong. You can bend into a ball. Whoa, this mat is so slippery. Stupid. Three, two, one. Whoa. There's no breaks. Just pick them up and go right into number two. Slow these ones down a bit. Remember, long arms, long levers don't last nearly as long. Back down, dumbbell up, lock out. If your toes go down two inches, nose and dumbbell go up two inches. Now you're connected. Get the mic out of the way, audio good. Recording still, batteries alive. Eight, stack that dumbbell. Ooh. 
third round. Here we go, this is it. I'm gonna do strict and then big swing power cheek curls. Oh, I almost just ripped my tooth out. I got nothing. Hang on to him, don't put him down, don't put him down. Oh, oh, the gas. A lot of arms, a lot of arms. Final 30 side hollow rock and we're finished. <sighs> Fucking Mike, swearing all the time here. Come on. Ah. Uh. If I go too far with the mic, I unclick the buckle on the back. I'm forever fighting this thing. Oh. <sighs> if anyone's still in your curls, damn good for you. That's it. Woo! I'd say we're for work at 49. Woo! 50 is coming. And I'm gonna call out a 50 session package. And I'm gonna switch up and do some special projects, special workouts. But remember, these are long. I'm mic'd up. This is an educational session for workouts you need. You need to learn as you go. We don't live by a 25 second counter clock. I'll do shorter workouts like that coming up, but you don't know how many reps you can get in 25 seconds. So I don't put the set times up. It's just enduring. You discover yourself, discover your strengths. I'm not gonna rant in this video, but I'll rant certainly in the future. That's it, graduate from work at 49. Hopefully you got a good gang, a rivalry with some friends going by now. Work at 50 is the big one coming up. So I'll leave it there. See everyone back for workout 50 very soon. Mm -hmm.